Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to show you my virtualization server. So this is it. It's an old computer I got from my grandpa. Specifically, it's a dual-core Pentium with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Uh, it does have a Wi-Fi card in it. Here's the... I don't know if you can see that. There's the uh, Wi-Fi antenna there. But I have it plugged into Ethernet, so it's always connected. Um, currently, it's running an operating system called Proxmox, which is based off of Debian Linux. Uh, you can hook up a monitor to it and configure some stuff, but most of it is set up through uh, the web, the web interface. So now I'm going to hop onto the computer and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the uh, login screen for it. I'm going to log in real quick. Um, it complains about not having a subscription, but you don't need one to use it. So this shows a list of all my different virtual machines. I only have two. The summary page shows different things about the health of the server. You can see like memory usage, CPU usage, that kind of stuff. If they're all running or not. And then uh, this cluster tab, you can set up a cluster. So if you have multiple of these servers, you can join them together and they'll all show up here. and you can easily move stuff between all the servers so if you're going to take one down then you can transfer the virtual machines over to the one that was that, that was going to stay up I'm not going to worry about any of the other stuff here so then these are the actual servers here the actual virtual machines so this first one is my FreeNAS, and this first tab here is the console, which this is really cool because from anywhere on your uh, network you can control the actual server. So, and if you have a VPN set up, which I do on this server here, um, you can actually get to it from anywhere in the world. And then this hardware tab just shows you the different things that are connected. And then options shows you different things that you would set in the BIOS. And this OS type here is very important because it uh, helps it work more efficiently. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of the rest of this. So then this is my Debian server. Um, again, the summary page shows you for the individual virtual machines what they're using. Uh, and then if you go to the console, this is actually just a normal Debian. So if you open it up, it goes to an actual login screen where you can log in. But I'm using it as a server, so. So this local um, thing here that has like the different disks on top of each other, this is storage. Uh, this specific one is for uh, ISO images. They're basically images of install DVDs. So you can see like FreeNAS, Windows Server, that kind of stuff here. And then this one is um, the actual like hard disks. So these two are for the FreeNAS, and then this one's for the uh, Debian server. The bigger one I am using as an actual hard drive for it to put the different shares and stuff on. And I want to explain what I use the Debian server for. Um, so I have the VPN, like I told you not too long ago. Um, and then it's also running a pie hole, which kind of removes ads from most sites. And a mumble server, which is like a voice chat. 
so now that I, I pretty much showed you everything there is to see in here so I'm gonna show you the uh, the different dashboards for the two different servers first one I'm going to show you is the FreeNAS and I have set up on the Pi hole it's a DNS server so I have set up uh, domain names for the different uh, servers so the FreeNAS is freenas.local but for some reason it's Google searching it so HTTP For some reason it's not working, so I'm just going to put in the IP address. There we go. So now I'm going to log in. This will just show you different things about it. So this will show you the CPU usage, memory usage, uh, your file pool. So I just have one share set up. And that shows you how much space is available and then it shows you what you're using as internet. So now I'll show you the Pi hole. Let's see if the DNS will work this time. Yep, we want to go to the admin panel. So it just shows you different stats about it, uh, what it's blocked, that kind of stuff. Some data here about what was blocking, what it was blocking over like the past 24 hours. So that's about it. So Alex out.